Energy for access for me is, is a real issue. I know what energy poverty means. Of, I mean, I grew up in Sierra Leone. But of greater importance is the fact that in my university, when I was an undergraduate, there were many times we did work there without access to energy. Energy for pumping the water from the river to the tank so that we can have a shower. We had to walk to the river because there was not energy to pump the water. We studied with candlelight. But what is most striking is going back to Sierra Leone after 11 years, living in the great United States after Cornell and the uh, University of Illinois and Michigan State, going back as minister and sometimes working again with candlelight. It is still in a number of places the same issue today. 30 years later, Sierra Leone still is one of those countries with high energy poverty. But the good news is with renewable energy technologies, we believe now we can provide access at community level with renewable energy technologies. Things are changing and that's, that's the beauty here. From 30 years ago to now, things are changing. But I, I feel privileged that in fact, what my experience was, I used to lead strikes against the government because of lack of energy. Today, I'm leading an effort to mobilize nations to make it available to 1.3 billion people. So it's a personal uh, uh, quest, as it were.